myself, Professor S. M. Mutt, from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur, from Mechanical Engineering Department. Today we deals with the gas processes. The outcomes from this uh, topic is student will able to discuss the various uh, gas processes. Basically, there are different type of processes when gas is heated or heat is to be removed at a different stages when the constant pressure process is there, constant volume process is there, constant temperature process is there. At that time, some transactions are to be going on related to the heat, work, internal energy and enthalpy. So, today first we will deal with a one of that processes that is a constant volume processes. Volume is to be constant. Hmm? So, when volume is to be constant there, by the first law of thermodynamics, the formula is Q is equal to change in internal energy plus work done. So, when this is to be going on and when the volume remains constant, you take a container, in that container gas is to be filled its pressure, volume, temperature is to be known at initial stage pressure P1, volume V1, temperature T1, mass M1, internal energy U1, enthalpy H1. Now heat is to be added for this gas which is to be at a constant volume that is V1 is equal to V2. Now here whatever quantity of heat is to be added here in this process for the constant volume gas volume remains constant when the volume remains constant work done is equal to P into dV or it is equal to P into bracket V2 minus V1 but as it is a constant volume process it is equal to 0 so work done is equal to 0 when the work done is equal to zero, then quantity of heat supplied by the first law of thermodynamics is change in internal energy plus work done. But heat supplied is equal to change in internal energy plus work done. Work done is equal to zero. Therefore, Q heat supplied is equal to change in internal energy. So when heat supplied is to be there, And heat supplied is to be the it is equal to mass into specific heat into change in the temperature so it is equal to mass is m specific heat at constant volume that is cv and change in temperature is equal to t2 minus t1 so heat supplied q is equal to m cv dt and the, which is to be denoted by kilojoule per kg degree Kelvin. So, for a constant volume process, heat is equal to mcv dt, change in internal energy is equal to mcv dt as work done is equal to zero. So, these are the values when volume remains constant volume is to be constant okay so this is the first process that is a constant volume process now we are go for the next process it is a pressure remains constant pressure is constant as in the drawing the previous graph pressure is P1 is equal to P2 and volume is it's a V1 and this volume is V2. Again just like previous one 
whatever the quantity of heat loss here in this case is to be carried out by part of heat is utilized to do the work and part of heat is utilized to increase its own energy that is called as a internal energy of that system so by the first law of thermodynamics q is equal to change in internal energy plus work done but in this case and the pressure remains constant now we take a example of the simple piston cylinder arrangement so here weight of that piston it is a piston cylinder arrangement weight of the piston is acts its own weight and that is a load acting on that gas so initially when the gas is there its pressure is p1 volume is v1 temperature is t1 when you have to add the heat it expands from level 1 to the level 2 when it moves from level 1 to the level 2 here in this case pressure is remains constant p1 is equal to p2 but volume is increases from v2 and temperature is increase of t2 and pressure is the same one so now we have to calculate the value of heat work internal energy just like previous one we have to calculate the heat work and internal energy value when the constant volume process is to be there but when q by the first law of thermodynamics q is equal to change in internal energy plus work done so the change in value of change in internal energy part of it is whatever the quantity of heat supplied and the constant pressure process part is utilized to do the work that is expansion of that gas and so the piston is moving from level 1 to the level 2 that much quantity of work is done and remaining is to increase its own energy in different forms of energy that is called as a internal energy that internal is deals with a different forms of energies this internal that is deals with a kinetic energy potential energy vibrational energy rotational energy so on the different forms of energies these are the different forms of energies now we have to calculate the internal energy so internal energy is equal to again when it is a constant pressure process is there its value is equal to mcv dt is equal to mcv into bracket t2 minus t1 that is a value of internal energy now we go for the value of work done work done it moves from level 1 to the level 2 it is equal to p dv or it is equal to p into bracket v2 minus v1 that is a value of work done so therefore heat supplied is equal to change in internal energy plus work done you put the values is mcv into bracket t2 minus t1 plus p dv so therefore the value of q is equal to mcv into bracket t2 minus t1 plus do the work p dv so this is the value of heat and work so in this uh, in a session we are deals with uh, calculating the value of heat work and internal energy when the pressure remains constant and when the volume remains constant we have to calculate the value of work heat work and internal energy of that system thank you